Right. Now, what about you, Sandra? Um, I know you talk about Stripe. Yeah. Um, what are some of the best features of Stripe that you like best? Um, and maybe you can share with our um, audience um, what you like about the, the features that has helped you in processing payments at um, at your business in your business. Yeah. So there were there were a few things that were. Uh, that took the most, they were the most important aspects that I needed from a simple payment processing solution. So one is that it's easy to use. Some of these yeah. solutions are almost overcomplicated. I don't need all these bells and whistles. I just no. want to be able to get some money. So, yes. <laughs> you know, I, but, yeah, exactly. Uh, but at the same time, I needed something that, although it was simple, it mm -hmm. had, uh, enough of a background, enough of a team behind it to make it integrate with other tools. So I built my own website. Uh, I have people pay me through my website. I needed to be able to have the tool that I was using sync up with my cloud accounting tools. I just, I needed something that was very easy, something I could just pull up on my tablet, something I could pull up on my phone, on my computer. Um, I don't use swiping. It is all entry, um, but that's you know that's fine. I think that that's also something people are used to doing, um, yeah. and so I did really appreciate that. It's it does take a couple days for payments to come through, and I brought up their fee schedule. It's pretty minimal. It's point or two point nine percent plus thirty cents per transaction. So yeah. I just took that into account when I figured out my pricing. I knew that right. this is, I, I'm not accepting cash or check payments. I'm only yeah. taking credit cards. So I'm going to have to bite this, but I can also work it in. And and that's a nominal yeah. enough fee that you don't want to, you don't want to lose that money. So if there's a yeah. way that you can account for that, um, even just that 30, 30 cents or whatever, um, I definitely recommend it. But like I said, like my, the biggest things that were so crucial to me was recurring payments, automatic recurring mm -hmm. payments. So if you do have memberships or uh, if you're on even a contract and you know that you're going to be getting paid a certain amount of money every month, you don't want to like have that. to invoice that person. Yeah, exactly. You want to know like that, that you're getting paid. Yeah. Uh, and, but at the same time, you don't want to be restricted to only recurring payments. I needed something where if they just were making a quick one-time purchase, they could do that. Right. So, um, you know, the dashboard is really, really simple. It, uh, you basically choose your customers. You decide how you want the, where you want your money to go. Um, I just have it transfer straight into my business account. Mm -hmm. And it's so easy. They let me know, hey, you've gotten a payment. Okay, but you don't right. have access to it yet because we have to, you know, do whatever yeah. they do. Yeah. And then here's your money. You've gotten it now. So I just right. really appreciate that simplicity. And uh, like I said, like I don't have to worry about it. it I know that it's taken care of. I know that um, I, it's going to be a solution that works. And it makes me feel really good that, it's not going to go away anytime soon because other bigger businesses are investing in their success as well. What I really like about Stripe as well is that you're not paying unless you make money. So there's no monthly fee whatsoever. There's only the fees per transaction. So, uh, you know, there shouldn't be a month where I'm not making money because I'm on a membership basis. But if that were to happen, depending on what your business is, some months maybe you don't do a transaction, at least you're not losing money on this service that you weren't using all month. 